Liu Shia stuck to the official Chinese line that the cases of the three Canadians are unrelated to the detention of Meng Wanzhou in Canada. Proceedings against them will continue even if Meng is released. But Liu also said China wants a good relationship with Canada, which he said Chinese people view as the most friendly of Western countries. And he walked back comments he made in an op-ed article last week where he suggested Canada's actions were motivated by white supremacy. What we heard from Ambassador Liu Shia was a mix of carrot and stick, not just bad outcomes that could come if Canada doesn't release Meng, but also positive things Canada can expect if it does. But what was really clear was that China doesn't like Canada appealing to other allies. China will not be isolated in the international community, said Liu, and he urged Canada to stop rallying other nations. He said Canada should think twice before raising the matter at next week's gathering of world leaders in Davos, Switzerland. But Canadian officials see no reason to face a rising superpower alone. Ambassador Liu's counterpart says allies can help Canada get its messages across. I think one of the main ones is to persuade uh, China, not necessarily through Canadians, through corporate and government leaders from around the world, that this behavior is not in their interest. Today, Spain joined most other major Western nations in publicly siding with Canada. There is a large and growing group of allies who share Canada's concerns about the rule of law. And we are grateful to our allies who are speaking out. Uh, we think it is very much in their interests to do so. I think China has allowed the case to develop into not only one of China versus Canada, but China versus the West. The West meaning countries with, uh, with proper rule of law. And I don't think this is, in, this is actually in China's interest. At the very least, the news conference suggested China's leadership is looking for a way out of the impasse, but there's no sign it's found one and few hopeful signals for the three Canadians. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.